is Babs and today I am going to be working on I got a a, a set a stamping game from Lindy's and it's Starburst sprays and it's autumn leaves and what came with it was these five different yummy um, Lindy stamp spray and I just got them so I am so excited to use them this one and I also I'm going to be using the recollection floral embellishments to um, spray them because as you can see they're just plain plain white so I'm going to use my um, Lindy spray and this color is maple crimson okay so let's see okay that's pretty you see the shimmery really is nice I put a little get a little bit more and um I was told that this stuff really stains your fingers so I should be using my tweezer I just want to make sure I get all of it up real nice and I'm going to be able to use this so as you can see how shiny and how shimmery it is you see that the shimmery and the shiny on that okay we're going to set it aside to dry and yeah, I should be using my my tweezers. All right, I'm gonna go to the next color, which is a um, poppy teal. It's a teal. I'm gonna use two more flowers. The spray is really wide. more flowers because this is just too precious to sort of let it get away from you right so I'm going to just absorb as much of it as I can on other flowers that is going to make a really pretty um, oh that is beautiful 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 hope you can see it but I'm going to show you um, the close-ups later. That is a beautiful color. That teal is amazing. All right, let's use two. I'm going to see if I have some smaller ones. This color here is... Is... Copper, cattail copper brown. And I love brown, so I'm going to put more because I love the color brown. Any shade of brown I love, I love, I love. Oh my God, that is boral. Oh my God, that is so beautiful. How gorgeous is that? Look all this yummy right in the middle. You know, if I have extra yummy like that, I'm just going to take one of the flowers that I've already sprayed and just do the ends of it. But I read on someone else's um, video who was showing you how you're supposed to mix it, said that um, she had got a lot on her finger and one of the ladies suggested that she use alcohol to get it to have it removed from her. Because she said she washed it and she washed it and she washed it and it wouldn't come off. So the lady suggested alcohol. So I love that color. Oh, that is beautiful. Can you see the shimmer in it? Let me see if I can get. Could you see the, the shimmer? Let me see. I want the shimmer to to show better. You can see it the way I can see it. Oh my goodness. 
they shimmer, they shimmer, they shimmer, they shimmer. Okay, so let me see. I have two more colors. And look how beautiful the design is, is leaving on the paper. That's a beautiful design. So I used this one already. So let me get more flowers. Later on, I'm going to be using um, dollies. I'm going to show you how to do the decoration decorate the different dollies. I saw it and I want to play today. So later on in the video I'm going to pause it and let these dry and I have another step that I want to do first with the dollies um, where you have to do it. I saw um, I think it's, it's Daily Girl and there's some numbers I think. I'm not sure the numbers but I'm going to link her, her um, videos below I love her and I believe she's daily girl and she has some awesome she makes some awesome junk journals and she makes these wonderful doilies and I want a copy from her so I will link her video below okay this is um Ponderosa Pine Olive Ponderosa pine, so this is a greenish one. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. I can just take up a, a straw and just enjoy. It looks so yummy. I'm getting too excited, huh? But you know what? I tried to do this with um, my regular embossing powder, embossing powder, but it doesn't have the same shimmery effect. So I had to just just go ahead on and purchase Lindy's shimmers because one lady said I'm gonna make my own shimmer sprays, but for some reason, um, when I did it with the embossing powder, it did, it wasn't shimmery enough for me. It just didn't have that shimmery, shimmery that I was looking for. It looks like gold dust. It didn't have that gold dust like I see here. Yes, yeah, so I have one more color, and that last color you will see it is going to be. The last color. Let me get some more flowers. I'll use maybe just three, maybe three flowers. Okay. So the last color. I think is another. Oh no, this one is like a. Look at those beautiful colors that's on my drop paper. Oh my goodness, that is going to be a beautiful tag or or either a journaling cards or whatever. This one, the last one is um, Red Hot Poker Orange. Red Hot Poker Orange. This is just going to be like an orange color. Ooh, loving it, loving it, loving it. Oh my goodness. Let me get all this yumminess right here in the middle. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Goodness gumdrop. Oh, I love that. That's a gorgeous color. Ladies, if you could see this live and in living color, you will be just as excited as I am. Just as excited as I am. So, you know what you have to do? You're going to have to go and purchase your own. And I got my, um, mine from Amazon. I got it from Amazon. And I'm telling you, I am so satisfied. This is truly worth it. Okay. So, I am going to pause the video and I'm going to come back with, um, another technique with the with the dollies 
So, let me show you what all I've done so far. There is the orange, and here are all the rest of them. I hope you can see them. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, so I'm already in the process of um, embossing this dolly. And um, I'm going to show you real quick what I've done. i show you what I did with this one. All I did was I took a dolly, just a regular one, and I took my Versamark. I have a pen and also a pad, which is my my pen is about dry, so I just used the pad to soak it to get it up and go around it to get the Versamark on the dolly. the pad is still really good but the, the pen is sort of dried up so I just use do it like this go all the way around on the edges and after I have gone all the way around which is taking me longer because this is the fine point of the Versamark pen. The other part, the blunt part is sort of tattered and it's split and everything I think because it was so dry. So that's why it's taking me a little longer with the finer point but I'm getting the job done. Okay so I went all the way around it with the Versamark and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take I wanted to use a different color, which I believe I am. I'm going to use a different color. Uh, I'm going to use a green this time. And let me just get a paper. I'm going to use a paper or paper plate. But let me just use this. is um perfect pearl. But this is not a embossing powder. This is a green. I think I want to use this um, embossing powder. This is sage. I'm just going to sprinkle it all over really good so the part where the Versamark was put on is going to stick to that it's going to adhere to that It'll look like I missed a spot so I have to go back you see where some spots that I missed so let me go back go back and try to get those spots that I missed. I think I missed a yeah, whole section right here. So, you see the blunt part? That's what I'm saying about the blunt part. It's just all frayed and everything. So, um, try to get these parts covered. Okay, so, I got these two, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my heating tool. So let me see. You can see where it 
started to where it melted. So what I would do is I would take um, should have used embossing powder, which but anyway, I could take the, the green um, I could take the green Lindy's spray ink and just spray it. spot just come out like that but I guess there's nothing I can do about that but just try to blend it in and blend it in with my finger some kind of way so it do the blotches but you spray it and then you could spray two colors I'm gonna mix it with the um, poker orange a little I should give it a pretty effect especially when it dries so you see it's going to dry and once it dry all I have to do is just wipe off the um, the one that's on the um, the embossing powder because it's not going to stick to the embossing powder you see I'm just wiping it off with my finger but once this dry this is going to be pretty it's going to be pretty so I'm going to set it over here to dry and then I need to get some larger dollies, dollies. So I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to use a blue this time. I'm going to use the blue. Make the circle again right in the middle because of the drops. You should just blend the whole thing like this. Okay, so what I made, what I did, which was a boo boo, instead of using the um, but I think I love the boo boo. Instead of using um, the embossing powder, this is um the perfect pearl. This is perfect pearls, you know. So, but it still came out beautiful. I like the way this came out. So I know that now I can use the perfect pearls with it also. Uh, so set it aside to dry so that's it so I'm going to go and I'm going to go and I'm going to do all of these and I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you the finished product but you did see how I I did it I just went around the edges with well I guess you could use the perfect pearl or if you would rather you can use your embossing powder either way I think it came out gorgeous okay so